Gen AI in the console? Well, things are about to get wild. Is Ubuntu better than RHEL? Question mark. Asking RHEL Lightspeed. Let's see what Lightspeed has to say about that. Are we creating drama online right now? If you value ease of use, extensive community support, and a rolling release model, that's news. Ubuntu might be a better fit. Well, I prefer a rolling release model, so I guess I'm switching based on this AI, Gen AI feedback. If stability, enterprise support, and robust security are your priorities, RHEL would likely be more suitable. Well, rolling release. You heard it here first. As you can see, I'm wearing my red cap for a reason. RHEL 10 just released. Let's do a quick overview, what's new and what's gone. As you can see, I installed the server with GUI. I would never do that normally, but uh, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And you might also be thinking about running this as your workstation. So uh, let's check this out, new wallpaper and I'm not a big wallpaper guy, so it doesn't really matter to me, but it kind of feels like somebody threw out a 10 and it's, oh, it's good enough, it's fine. <laughs> At least they know they're on 10. Um, so it's not like, oh, if this, this would not be my workstation wallpaper, I would not keep this. So let's check out what's installed by default. Uh, this is all okay. Camera, do not understand. Uh, I'm not gonna be running a camera on my but who knows, who knows? Uh, when you choose server with GUI, I don't understand like the camera app and the calculator is like, oh yeah, let's throw in the calculator. He might need to do some quick math on the server. You never know, you never know. Maybe like partitioning stuff. <laughs> uh, it, I think the terminal icon is new. Maybe it changed in 9.5, not sure. But let's make this, makes this, makes this a bit bigger. Is that okay? Um, yeah, it looks okay. Maybe it's too big. Um, so the new Gen AI chat thing is C. And uh, so you can do C chat and then throw it in there. And uh, as you saw in the intro, suspect feedback info. So I wonder, like, I'm not gonna go into the whole AI stuff, but I'm, I'm suspicious of like hallucinations bias and uh, also the bias from the company that the information is coming from. So like the founding fathers being black and all. <laughs> so I'm suspicious, but I, I understand Rel's, I think motives behind this is to help people that are new, that are not Linux ninjas uh, to like, to help them. So like even with the image builder, uh, what's it called image? Um, I think it's, image builder suggestions. And so they're, they're taking different steps. We'll go into that later just to help people bridge the gap to acquire knowledge. But honestly, this feels like something I would do on my workstation. Like I'm SSH into the server and I'm already Googling, reading the man pages, checking document documentation on RHEL myself. But I probably would see this as a good thing for a new person and they're kind of maybe the, the only Linux administrator for the company and things are down and I don't know. I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to be positive and supportive of this. Um, so maybe it's a good thing. I think, <clears throat> I think I should give it a fair shake and do like chat. I have an SC Linux error. Can you help? Just be nice because I want to see if it provides like a step-by-step -step thing or if just if the info in general makes sense. Uh, see, of course I'd be happy. Okay. Happy to help you. That's always good. SE Linux denials. You can use the SE alert tool. Good. There's a basic guide on how to use it. I like it so far. So it's showing you the audit log. This is all good. This is really good. Um, so I, I, I think this would, oh, okay, one, two, that, that is really nice. And I think for people that are uncomfortable or can't just, uh, even, even like the Linux ninjas, which I'm not a part of, I'm trying to become one, um, we always forget something. Like you can't remember every command, every option available on planet Earth. So I think 
this is probably going to get just be better and better. I just, I wonder about like the AI incest problem where it's just, if it's posting or sending out unvalid information and then it starts to believe itself and believe the hype and drink the Kool-Aid. And I'm like, I'm always right. Even though you're pushing out wrong info, like Ubuntu is a rolling release. <laughs> and then you just double down and the incest problem with the data set that you have is just getting more corrupt. I don't know. I'm not an AI specialist, so don't listen to me. I also don't think it would have killed them to make the terminal dark by default, but let's jump over and look at some of the new features and removed features. The two features right away that I'm kind of excited about, I would say the Lightspeed thing, the Gen AI and the terminal that we looked at, and then also image mode for RHEL. This, was, this feature was in tech preview in RHEL 9, but now it's an official supported feature. And uh, I would say this is kind of cool. I haven't played around with it myself, but you start thinking about your RHEL installations as a container. So container file, you build it, you publish, publish it to your container registry, you deploy it, and of course you have persistent storage. But uh, I want, like, this is so interesting if you start to think about your RHEL maintenance, like there's really no maintenance, but of course you have to maintain your container file, but start using your DevOps pipelines to deploy your RHEL installations. I am definitely going to play around with this later, but to quote my friend, Simon Cowell, this gets a yes from me. Um, release notes, let's talk about the thing that I've seen most Linux YouTubers talk about. And I must say that I'm quite surprised that it's kind of hitting the Linux community as hard, hard as it is. So let's do removed features and let's do, what was it? The graphics infrastructure. And so this is the thing that people are talking about. The Xorg server is no more. It was already deprecated in RHEL 9. We all knew this was coming, people. You know, it's been a it's been a moment, it's been a minute, it's been a while, and uh, the Xorg server is no more. And uh, in this instance, I'm not the old man screaming at clouds. I this is not going to be an issue for me, but probably for some people. But the thing is, uh, you still have the X11 protocol. It's not removed, so you can use. Most, I think that they say, which means that most <laughs> applications, that's lawyer you speak for, let's cover our behind, uh, will remain compatible through the X Wayland compositor. So your stuff should still work, most of it. Uh, but uh, I don't, I honestly, I, I think Wayland is the future. Xarc is the past and i think we need to let it go let it go you know hold it now no more i think i've covered what's hip cool interesting saucy to moi but of course there are so many more new things like three new system roles insights advisor and satellite etc etc et i can't cover it all i can't and so I'll put a link to the official RHEL video where they go over everything that's new. And I just want to say, I appreciate you for watching your time, your subscription, your clicks, itty clicks, likes, like, click, uh, all that, you know, the comments, the emails that I'm getting. And uh, I just love when people say I passed this certification or I learned this. Uh, it's so amazing. And I just love the community. And until next time, the Linux Ninja says bye-bye. Sounds the Morgan. Maybe you should start learning Icelandic together. Bye is bye in Icelandic. Sjáumst. See you in Icelandic. So bye.